Hey, James Wise from Holton Wise here. Today I am analyzing a duplex for my client, Lewis. Lewis emailed me looking to get a financial analysis on this investment property. Let's dive in. All right, Lewis, 3126 Meadowbrook, Cleveland Heights, 44118. This property is listed by a realtor out of a Howard Hanna office. She has priced this one for $175,000. It was built in 1924. The taxes are $6,438 a year. Now, for all of you out there that are watching this who are not Lewis, it's important to note that if you are actually seeing this video, this property is long gone. You see, Lewis, when we went out there to film the video, you know, you reached out to us, you said, hey, James, analyze this video for me. Not a problem. That's what I do. Any property that is listed in the Cleveland market, guys, whether it's on the MLS or maybe it's for sale by owner, any other property that you see that's outside of my daily emails at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, if you'd like to get the same information on those properties that you see in my properties on the daily listings, reach out just like Lewis did, and I will film a full analysis. And if we can get inside the property, we'll even give you a video tour. So, Lewis, that's what we did for you. Now, uh, after that, I get a couple frantic phone calls and emails from the realtor who listed the property. Uh, here's one of them. James, you showed my listing today, duplex on Meadowbrook. I was told by the occupant you recorded video while in these occupied units. I need you to delete the video and send me an email confirming you've done so immediately. If the video, which the owner did not authorize, shows up on any website, he will be taking action against you. Your video person told the occupant you would be putting this on YouTube. This is a violation. Please call me ASAP on the serious matter. I don't uh, see this being very serious. You wanted an analysis on this property. So I, I said, serious matter. My client lives in California and requested me to analyze the investment as well as provide a video tour. What seems to be the problem here? She ended it with, my client, the owner, does not agree to you posting the video you took on any public forum, including your website. So, Lewis, right now, you're watching this on a private link. Anyone else who might be seeing this, this property is long gone. I don't really feel like going to battle with this uh, owner or this realtor about whether or not it's a violation of any license law for me to put my analysis on this investment on my YouTube and my emails. Uh, so, if I have released the footage publicly, this is well after this listing is over and that property owner is no longer the owner of record, as to avoid any issues with those folks. Now, that said, let's dive into the details on this investment because that's what you're paying for, that's what I'm doing. Now, her listing, this is what she said. This is a well-maintained side-by-side duplex in a great location. Both units have beautiful hardwood floors throughout, wood-burning fireplaces, rich hardwood moldings, staircases, and all the charm you would expect from a classic Cleveland Heights colonial. A new roof with complete tear-off was installed in 2013, both sides occupied with long-term tenants in good standing. Unit 1, lease ends March 2019. Unit 2, lease ends June 2019. Each side, four beds, two and a half baths, separate basements with washer and dryer. POS is ordered and scheduled to be completed later. So the POS has not yet been completed. So from what I can gather so far here, you know, we have a real estate agent based on how she's written up this listing. This agent is probably more proficient in selling these properties as owner-occupied dwellings, whereas... Lewis, I am going to analyze this from a rental property perspective for you. We went in there and got some video footage, which I will put on the screen for you now. Uh, first of all, I do like the investment thus far. You know, I think it's priced well. I'll get into the comps later. I love the neighborhood of Cleveland Heights. And as you can see from the drone footage here, you know, the grounds, they're very, very nice. It appears we have a, a tenant with some type of disability in one of the units. We already have the ramp installed. That's great. I think Cleveland Heights is an awesome area for investors to invest in. 
I mean, the rents you can get in this neighborhood are incredibly high. You're close to university. I mean, this is just, you're going to get high quality tenants when you purchase in an area like this. Now, as we go in and go through the unit, you know, we have hardwoods, you know, classic woodwork. Everything in this unit looks pretty darn nice to me. Um, you know, whenever this tenant would move, move out, you would need to, of course, repaint. Because, I mean, as you see, there's just a ton of furniture and a ton of things on the walls in these units. Um, so it's not going to look totally show ready when these folks move out. But, I mean, this unit's in great condition. It looks like these people take very good care of their space here. The kitchen cabinets, those are nice and updated. Um, so when this tenant does turn, I believe you're going to have a very moderate amount of repairs to do to this unit. Let's see what else. As we go on upstairs here, looks like uh, the bathroom. You know, the fixtures, I don't really like that vanity. I would replace that vanity at turn, but the rest of this, you know, it looks pretty nice. Floor, looks like you got a nice tile floor that looks pretty good now this particular unit is currently rented at nine hundred fifty dollars a month now in the notes that i received from the listing agent this i mean just so everyone is aware lewis you need to be aware of the rent it, the market rent is actually much higher like the rent for unit two is actually 1250. Uh, so this tenant is getting a 300 dollars rental discount because they're doing the property management. Now, from a real estate investor's perspective, from an out-of-state investor's perspective, I absolutely hate that. That would be the first thing I would get rid of uh, when it came time. The lease, it's gonna be up in March 2019. So you got about five months of that 950. But uh, as soon as I took it over, I would first, I would, I would relieve the tenant of any property management duties. Sir. There is no reason that a tenant should be managing the property, number one. There's no reason, number two, that a $300 discount is necessary for a two-unit property. I mean, there's just really not that much to manage, honestly. I mean, what do you have to do besides uh, collect the rent from one other person and, and cut the grass? You know, you don't need to pay $300 a month to do that. On top of that, you should really separate you know, your tenants should be your tenants and your employees or your property managers should be your property managers. You don't need to co-mingle those two things. So once this lease was up, I would immediately increase this person. Now, maybe you don't want to go 300 bucks, get them all the way to 1250 because that could cause a turnover. Um, you know, they've been there for a little while. It looks like they got a lot of stuff in the house. As I said, it looks really, really nice. But, you know, once all that stuff is empty and you're ready to show, you're still going to have to spend some money turning it. You know, you're not fixing a lot of things, but, you know, that vanity in the, in the bathroom, I'd want to do that. And you're going to have to repaint and probably patch little holes because they got a lot of stuff, you know, on the walls. Um, you know, there is some cost to all that. So maybe you try to go halfway. Maybe you increase the rent like 150 or something like that. Still give them a deal, but slowly get that rent up to market. But the main point I want to make to you is there is no reason an out-of-state investor should look to buy a property and then give one of the tenants a huge discount to manage that property. I just don't like it. Now, as I go back to some of the footage that we took here, we're down in one of the basements, separate basement. You know, we have boiler heating here. We have a hot water tank right here. Both appear to be in pretty good shape. You know, seems to be a lot of stuff in the basement, but all in all, looks dry, looks nice. Updated electrical panel. So that is definitely a good feature. Now, as we swing it outside, we're going to go into the other unit. This is the unit that's paying, you know, full freight. This is $12.50 a month. That is great. And, you know, this unit, this is a great looking unit. It's very spacious. Those hardwoods look to be in good condition. You got that nice classic uh, trim throughout the house. Same thing. Whenever this tenant moves out, like you got that clock, those pictures, it all looks great. It's a very great clean unit. But when you empty all this, you know, you're going to have to patch all those holes. So you're definitely going to want to repaint this. But all in all, this is a great looking unit. In the kitchen, it's already got a decently modern set of cabinets. I would probably recommend replacing that countertop, give you something a little bit nicer for the next tenant. But other than that, you know, this is looking pretty good. And you know, you could tell these people they take care of their, uh, of their apartment, so that's nice. We go upstairs, take a look at all the bedrooms, nothing major, you know, just standard bedrooms, nothing out of the ordinary there. 
nice modern fixture in the bathroom. Go to the third floor. Both these units, you know, they have finished third floors. Another bedroom, another bathroom there. Everything looks pretty good here. All looks good. Down in the other basement. Now that's what's cool. That's what I like about these side-by-side -side duplexes. Separate basements, right? There's two kinds of duplexes. You got your up-down duplex. You got your side-by-side -side duplex. Side-by-side -side duplexes, especially those with separate basements, you're going to get tenants staying much longer than you will in those up-down duplexes. I mean, they have like purely separate spaces, whereas the up-down duplexes, they're sharing a basement. That always leads to fights. You know, one, one tenant's using the other tenant's laundry. It it's, it's, it's can be a nightmare. So, you know, these separate basements, that's awesome. Another boiler, another hot water tank. Both look to be in pretty moderate condition. Basement appears to be pretty dry. We have updated electrical in this unit too. As a matter of fact, they've done a laundry list of uh, repairs to this property. Uh, with the residential property disclosures, which I've included in this video for you, uh, you know they go over and they, and they discuss every single issue um, with the property. Nothing major, just like little tic-tac stuff that I don't really think you need to worry about. And then they've also included for us a list of uh, repairs they've done. So they replaced the basement windows 2014, they fixed the storm sewer drain, remodeled kitchens and baths, they replaced the hot water tank in both units. Both units have new hot water tanks as of at least two years ago. Fixed cracking in the walkway entrance for one of the units, which is key because they have not ordered that point of sale yet. And the biggest thing that the cities are citing on those point of sales is cracked driveways and concrete. Now, in the listing notes, the agent, she said that uh, when the point of sale does get inspected, that will be negotiable. All in all, I like this investment. In my opinion, this property, James Wise approved. The price, I think the price is, is pretty good. It's pretty reasonable. I'm not saying you have to come in at list. But, you know, with that POS being out there, I think that's going to be some point in negotiation. If you look at the comps here, this property is priced at 175. Now, if you look at the quarter mile comps, you have a similar property that sold for 170, another one for 169.9, and then you got a couple 158.5, 158, another one for 156, another one for 150. So this is the top of the market, but it is pretty nice, but it does have some downside. One of the downsides is you're getting $300 a month less rent than you should be because that tenant is doing property management. So that's a downside. I think it's definitely a good deal if you get it for the right price and you negotiate the right things with the POS. So this property being 175, in my opinion, I think you want to start the offering at 165 with the seller paying for all POS violations. The seller should deliver you a clear POS for you to pay you know, 165 or 170. The prices keep going up here in Cleveland, so even if you ended up closing this deal, you know, higher than the other one at 170, I think that's fine because I think uh, over the next six months, as properties here in Cleveland Heights close, I don't think this will still be the highest priced property at 175. In my opinion, I could see properties just like this going up to 175, 180, 185 in the next year or so. So again, this deal. James Wise approved if you can get it for the right price and if you can get that seller to deliver you a clear point of sale. Now, if it turns out the city wants to do a bunch of crazy repairs, which I don't think is a reasonable expectation considering how nice the property was, um, you might want to try to pick it up for a big discount. But with the way the seller is taking care of this property and the way the sellers put all these renovations into the property, I, I think they'll have no problem doing that point of sale repair for you. Well, Lewis, I hope that answers all your questions about whether or not this is a viable investment property. For the rest of you, if I actually did release this footage publicly, if you would like an investment analysis on a property just like this one, you could send me an email, jameswise at holtonwise.com. There is an upfront fee for me to analyze these properties for you. If you're not interested in paying an upfront fee, simply subscribe to my mailing list because I am the number one seller of investment properties in the Cleveland market and I send out one investment property every single day complete with a video tour and analysis so you have all the information that a real estate investor needs to make that purchase. 
However, just like my guy Lewis right here, there is a lot of you looking at other properties outside of what I'm selling. I am the number one seller and I am selling the most, but Cleveland has thousands and thousands of real estate agents. There's the MLS, there's Zillow, there's wholesalers, those thousands and thousands of other agents. There are so many other properties out here in the Cleveland market. And if you're out there in California or Oregon, you don't want to miss those deals. You don't want to miss those opportunities. So that's why I've created this service for you. Like I said, small upfront fee. I will break it down for you. I will send my team out there. We will do a complete video tour if we can get inside the units. And we will give you all the information that you as a real estate investor need to know to make the proper investment decision. Then when the deal closes, and by the way, when you're purchasing the deal, if you'd like to make the offer through me, using me as your buyer's agent, that's cool. If you want to go right to the listing agent or if it's a for sale by owner and you want to do it yourself, that's fine too. Either way, when the deal closes, if you want Holton Wise to be your property manager, we can provide you complete property management services, including contracting, tenant screening, tenant placement, you name it. We do it all. If you just want this analysis and you're going to go it on your own, that's cool too. That's what this channel's for. We are here to empower you guys. We are here to give you the tools to be the best real estate investors you can be out here in the Cleveland market. I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.